Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Today, Aptera um, released a new video called Launch Mode Activated. Um, so let's watch it together and talk about it. Okay, so I think the looks on those people's faces says it all. Um, it must launch really hard. When I took a ride in beta, it was kind of a detuned engine, and it still launched pretty hard. And so it, it must launch way uh, more aggressively now, uh, based on the looks on their faces. Um, I asked Chris McCannon on the Discord channel if they had any specs, and they said they weren't releasing any specs right now but uh, they would release some specs and um, you know it's pretty close to the uh, the purported four four seconds zero to 60 time or maybe a little better who knows um, but they weren't releasing specs quite yet okay so this is Bastion one of their interns hi Aptera fans uh, I'm Bastion I was working for Aptera as an intern for the past five months and I was working on the VCU development for our new production intent controller VCU stands for okay what the heck's a VCU um, just like you guys, most of you guys, I'm not an automotive engineer, so I did not know what a VCU was, so I looked it up. So a VCU uh, looks like this. It's got, it's usually a, like an aluminum case. It's very small and has a bunch of CAN bus connections on one side. So this is one by um, a company called Ampere EV, who looks like they do um, retro, like EV retrofits of vehicles. Um, here's a Bosch uh, VCU so you can see it looks very similar uh, here's one from Continental also looks very similar um, Texas Instruments is saying they're going to help you develop the VCU this is one by Resolve EV also looks very similar um, and has uh, uh, aluminum casing with CAN buses here and if you look they have a wiring diagram and it tells you like what it all outputs to you know it connects to the throttle pedal the brake pedal the BMS the power delivery module and the inverter and ignition, all kinds of stuff. So it basically controls everything. If you look at uh, the Ampere EV thing, you can see um, the VCU will connect to the high voltage junction box and the CCS uh, charge controller, battery pump, motor cooling, AC compressor, heater, charger, the BMS, motor inverter, the DC fast charger. Um, graphical interface power distribution module. So it basically is like, kind of like the main control unit for the vehicle. It's which is surprising because it's quite small and it's not that complicated. I think um, it, the thing must be programmable, um, and there's probably some kind of like uh, read-only memory chip in there that you can like load the different uh, software packages into it to con to change the behavior of the VCU. And it looks like Aptera has been making their own VCU. A vehicle control unit. Uh, it's responsible for controlling torque requests uh, from the vehicle. It's determining uh, if safe states are necessary and what kind of torque values should be uh, commanded uh, at the current speed and accelerate their pedal position. While Gamma is traveling the world, we got our new production intent vehicle control unit and we decided to put it in beta for real world testing. So obviously they have outsourced their VCU they basically had the hardware designed and one of their suppliers is uh, providing them a prototype. And since Gamma was in Europe, they put it in the beta vehicle to just uh, check it out and then play with the settings. We experimented with a lot of different pedal mappings. Uh, we've chosen the one that feels the most comfortable for the driver and it greatly in increases the driver experience. Our pedal mapping is able to adjust uh, to different battery charge and discharge limits. Our mapping still feels predictable even when battery discharge changes at low SSC or high temperatures. We okay, so the way I understand that is, is they basically have the VCU control um, like how the pedal responds because if it was linear to the battery when the battery is like low that has a low state of charge, or SOC as Bastion calls it, then it would not deliver the same amount of voltage and then you would have a dif different response rate of the pedal based on where the battery is, like temperature wise and state of charge wise. But basically I guess their VCU, and I guess, I think this is pretty common across all EVs, 
the, the VCU controls for that and gives you this, the vehicle the same response to your pedal, um, no matter what the uh, state of charge and the temperature is. We've added a lot of new features. Uh, the new VCU now has a launch mode and an effortless transition from going reverse to forward. To enter the launch mode, you just have to press accelerator and brake pedal at the same time. And once you release the brake pedal, it will launch you. Okay, so they installed a launch mode. 100% gonna use that if I, when I get it. Um, every chance I get whenever I take a friend in the Aptera, we're, we're definitely launching the thing um, for every new passenger that gets in there. That, that's a, um, it's a fun little uh, mode, and I think uh, uh, everyone's gonna use it when they show it to their friends. So basically, if you guys don't know what launch mode is, it's just a way of, uh, having the computer control the uh, launch of the vehicle so you don't peel out it, it like senses it if it if the wheel is slipping and then just gives you the maximum amount of acceleration possible so it just takes kind of driver skill out of it um, pretty much so that uh, you can launch the vehicle as fast as possible given its current battery and and road and tire conditions We also worked on a torque rate limiter, so we get the best acceleration possible uh, by reducing wheel spin. Yeah, my favorite feature is the forward to reverse transition. You can enter the forward drive mode even when we are rolling reverse slightly with up to 5 miles per hour. And once you press the accelerator pedal, it launches you smoothly into a transition to going forward. Okay, so. I'm, I saw, I read a couple of comments in this video talking about how important that is going, being able to go forward from being straight, straight from being in reverse. I'm not real sure what the benefit of it is. Um, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a performance driver or anything. So maybe I'm missing something. If you guys know why that's important, let me know in the comments below so I can learn. Um, I always just like press the brakes and then went, go to a stop and then go to drive when I'm in reverse. So anyways, um, supposedly Bastion likes it and a lot of people in the comments like it. I must be missing something. The VCU is monitoring many devices within the vehicle, including battery, inverter and motor, to determine if the current vehicle state is safe. Or if you get close to limits, for example for temperatures, it will gradually decrease torque so you can still continue driving um, at a reduced speed. Yeah, I was always fast. Okay, so basically he's saying the VCU is going to control um, the car for safety. So if it's really hot, if the, if the battery is getting hot or the motors are getting hot or something's uh, getting out of spec, it, they'll reduce the power delivery so that it doesn't overheat or damage your car or make the car non-functional, which, you know, makes sense. Fascinated by Aptera's mission to develop the most efficient transportation possible. So I was very grateful to be part of this project and to make a great contribution to accelerate the path to production. So I, that was pretty impressive acceleration and stop. It was like full, you can see the tires were smoking pretty much the whole time. So I think it's going to be a very, very fun uh, vehicle to drive. And um, I, I think the launch mode edition is just going to be fun to fun to show off to your friends. All right, so um, good to see that they're making progress. So they're working on these other things. So they've made they've worked on the big things that take a long lead time, like the body parts and stuff. And now they're going to work on the stuff that has less lead time. Um, and probably the last thing they're going to work on is the software part of it, because you can work on that right up until production, um, and you can even update the software even after production. So. That's probably the, the, U, the user interface and the software is probably going to be the last thing they're working on. So good to see that they're still making progress and um, always fun to see people's expressions when they launch the vehicle, which I think um, will be fun to show off to our friends. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, as always, to our um, supporting members and have a great day, everyone.